to another video. In this video, we'll show you how to scan barcode and get product image directly from Salesforce. So my two products that are in Salesforce are actually two books. One is called The Fountainhead, there is the image. And the other one is called The One Thing. And here is the image for that as well. Now both of these products, I actually have them in the physical copy with me. So I'm going to show you how to scan the barcode on this physical copy and then bring that data back from Salesforce. I'm going to set it up in a mobile view because I'm going to do this on my mobile. So I think it's it will show you the best results sort of there for now. This is what we're going to use to scan. And we'll say scan here. And then I'm going to get two calculated fields. The first one is going to record the barcode value. So we'll call this one barcode value. And then the second one is going to return the barcode type. So we can call this one barcode type. And essentially, I'm going to set up two hidden fields. And both of these hidden fields are going to return the value in each of my calculated. So this one is going to be B value, which means barcode value. And this one is going to be B type, which means barcode type. And if I go into each one here, I can go ahead and set up my um, my value here. So B value will go into this one, and then B type will go into this one, like that. Super duper easy. And then here I'm going to get a paragraph element because this is what I'm going to use to show the image of the actual um, product itself. So we'll set this one and say image. Now, in order to scan it, you need to click on the element, go to advanced, check scan barcode, and you need to map the value to your B value hidden field, and then type barcode type to barcode type hidden field, and then these two will copy from these two fields here alone. Next up, I'm going to set up my get, and my get is going to come from the object product, and condition is going to be product code equals my barcode value. If there is a match, then go ahead and return my image directly within the form itself. So apply and finish, and we're done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my mobile so I can show you what we're working with here. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'm going to Go ahead and share my phone very shortly. All right, here's my phone, and then here is the form. So what I'm going to do is if I click on this option here, it's going to get an access for my camera. And if I click on my camera, these are my two books here, by the way, The Fountainhead and The One Thing. Now, if I go ahead and take an image of this barcode here, and I have to be very still, like that, and then OK it, at this point, when I upload it, Titan's going to go ahead and read. And if once it finds a value, based on the value, it's going to return the image of that product. Pretty cool, eh? And then, same thing I can do with the second book. So let's go over here. Go to my second book, take the image, now the image is a bit blurry so I'm going to retry it again so it's a little bit sharper. I think that will do, so if I go ahead and upload this one, it's going to now return another value and then based on the value, there's my product image. So. Super, super easy. You can set up your barcode and then within your form, return your product and based off that product, do whatever you want. Like literally there's no limit to it. And this is how it's done.